Imagine walking through a dense prehistoric forest, the air thick with humidity, the sounds of unseen creatures echoing through the trees. Suddenly, a massive shadow moves in the distance. You freeze. It's not a dinosaur. It's not a mammal. It's a 10-foot-tall flesh-eating bird, a predator so terrifying that even the mightiest creatures of its time feared its wrath. When people think of prehistoric giants, they imagine dinosaurs. But after the extinction of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago, another group of creatures rose to dominate the land, the terror birds, forest rassids. These enormous, flightless birds ruled South America for millions of years, striking fear into every animal they encountered. They weren't just big, they were designed for destruction. Unlike today's ostriches or emus, which are passive herbivores, terror birds were apex predators. Standing up to 10 feet tall, with massive hooked beaks and powerful legs, they were built for speed and domination. Unlike modern birds, which mostly use their beaks to peck at food, these beasts had skulls designed like a battle axe, capable of crushing bones and tearing flesh in a single strike. Some scientists believe these creatures were the top predators of their time, hunting with a combination of speed, precision, and sheer brute force. But how exactly did these monstrous birds live? and what ultimately led to their downfall. Let's dive deeper into this prehistoric nightmare. Among these terrifying creatures, some species stood out. Kelenkin Gillermoi, the largest terror bird ever discovered, standing nearly 10 feet tall with a skull over 28 inches long. It lived around 15 million years ago and had one of the most powerful bites of any bird that ever existed. Titanus waleri, a North American species that thrived when South and North America connected. Unlike its relatives, it may have had small wings capable of limited use. Boris Rakos, one of the most well-known terror birds, ruling the grasslands with unmatched speed and agility. Scientists believe it could outrun a horse. These birds weren't just surviving, they were thriving. But how did they hunt? And what made them such effective killers? Terror birds didn't just chase their prey, they ambushed, crushed, and devoured them. Scientists believe they had a unique strike and kill technique, where they slammed their beaks down with enough force to break bones. Their strong legs allowed them to run at speeds up to 40 miles per hour, 64 kilometers per hour, making escape nearly impossible for smaller prey. Unlike big cats that use claws or wolves that hunt in packs, terror birds had a single weapon, their skulls. Their massive beaks were designed to deliver devastating blows, almost like a hammer striking its target. Some theories suggest they hunted like modern-day circuitry birds, using their legs to stomp prey to death before delivering a final, bone-crushing bite. Ambush attack. They likely used tall grasses to hide and then exploded forward in a burst of speed. Crushing bite. Their beaks delivered a force strong enough to break a small mammal's spine. Swift devouring. Once the prey was down, their beaks sliced through flesh easily, allowing them to consume their meal quickly before other scavengers arrived. With no natural predators, they ruled the land for millions of years. But even the most fearsome beasts eventually fall. The question is, what happened to them? For millions of years, these giant birds thrived. But around two million years ago, they suddenly vanished. Why? Scientists have proposed several theories. 1. Climate change. As the Earth's climate shifted, rainforests shrank, and open grasslands expanded. Terror birds, which thrived in dense forests, may have struggled to adapt to these new environments. 2. The rise of mammals. The biggest challenge came when North and South America connected. New predators, like saber-toothed cats and early wolves, entered South America. These mammals were fast, social, and intelligent likely outcompeting the terror birds. 3. Human involvement. Some researchers speculate that early humans may have hunted the last remaining terror birds. Fossils suggest humans arrived in South America over 10,000 years ago, long after most terror birds disappeared. But could a small population have survived long enough to encounter humans? Though science tells us they're long gone, some mysterious sightings suggest otherwise. In remote regions of South America, locals have reported seeing massive flightless birds unlike anything known today. 
Some cryptozoologists believe that a small hidden population of terror birds might still exist, surviving in the unexplored rainforests of Patagonia. While no concrete evidence has been found, the idea remains fascinating. If a species like the coelacanth, thought to be extinct for 66 million years, could be rediscovered, is it impossible that something as terrifying as a terror bird could still be lurking in the wild? Terror birds were the last of a lost world, an era when birds weren't just creatures of the sky, but rulers of the land. Their story is a reminder of Earth's ever-changing history, where giants rise and fall, leaving behind only bones and legends. But now, imagine a world where these creatures never went extinct. Imagine walking through the South American wilderness, only to hear the rustling of bushes, followed by the rapid thuds of giant clawed feet running toward you. If these creatures were still alive today, would you be the hunter or the hunted? If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing and fascinating videos. See you in the next one. Until then, take care.